986 miles is the distance between myself and my mother. I live 1,335 miles from my best friend and 4,209 miles from my darling. In general, it's cool. We somehow make it work, spread thin bonds in between and pray they don't break. I'm never alone though. I pick my new sisters and brothers from the category others. I beg, be whoever, look however, be not from here. Because when I search for closeness, I don't care how we mastered belonging, but how good you're at leaving. Stretching, expanding words across oceans and waiting. We exchange stories of customs and sense, share our strangeness, let differences sleep in the seas, stand firm on the common ground of our foreignness and on average it's great. But sometimes you wish you didn't have to spell your name three times or say back home we do this or that. Sometimes you wish some things were obvious and said. And sometimes you get a Skype call from home. Somebody's born, someone dies. Your presence in their lives is defined by the prices and times of Ryanair flights. Realities like parallel lines don't intersect. Life flows constantly, unbothered by your absence. There's a changing world out there. Alien places, altered faces, new rules, scary news. Is there anything to come back to and do you want to? It's not a rational choice, based on pros and cons. My brain started to put down roots. Whether I like it or not, to knots tight ropes around my fingertips and ties them to the ground. But I'm safe. In the arms of my new brothers and sisters. We knit ourselves warm blankets of the bonds between us. We build ourselves new homes that are colourful like Lego blocks. We transcend concrete walls and make borders pointless. Have children from everywhere and from nowhere with names you can break your tongue on and... We create our own nation. Cross seas, cross roads, cross fences, cross barbed wire and unsafe spaces we jump. We climb, we run, we rise, we shine, we run, we rise, we shine, we free and we fly.